Now let's put this thing straight. As a forest trader, when you have such indicator in your phone or in your MT5 or whatever you are using, then you have this very simple diagram that as you can see it here. This very simple as you can see it here. Then you have 14 period here. Then you have method which is a uh, simple then you have apply to typical price hls then in what in any of this thing now and this will be the outcome you have this line like this they make it a little bit bold so that you understand it more clearer then you have this red line check where this thing is please watch this thing carefully because you are about to see look at the position of this thing please watch this line watch this line just check all those places and see its position all right just watch where they are so that you will get this thing straight now as a trader which one is the best when you have this type of thing on your screen you have period simple apply to close let me tell you something when you close this thing and put this thing look at this line here just look at this watch this line look at the position of this thing can you see it now now look at where this thing is just monitor this thing and see where it is we this is simple and apply to close now let's go again and change this apply to close to exponential have you seen it did you notice any change it has moved from here to this place for some of you who are depending on indicators what if the market is moving at this point using exponential why you have simple on your phone then what if the thing is not on simple or you have both of them like you have simple apply to close but let me show you another thing then in your this thing you have weighted close look at this when you have this weighted close then check something else you have something like lower do you see it so watch these things please i want you to pay attention to this this is lower now so at this point what are you really trading on so when you are waiting to see a cross on your chart and you have this close you have this close exponential close so when you close this thing actually the thing now moved up from this very spot to this spot so which one are you trading with and how do you get the results that you want you know basically this is some of the small small issues that we ignored that can so frustrate us in this forest and when we think for some I'm, I'm doing this video basically for those who think that their strength should be on what they get on youtube please be careful because there are simple things that you ignored that may frustrate you look at this thing again Let's move down to smoothed. Then we closed it. We applied it to close. Look at this. Have you seen it? There was, if you check this line carefully, if you check this line carefully, it moved like this when it was on exponential. But now when it is smoothed, it's no longer struggling to move that. And it's now working on a straight line. Then let's bring it to lower or media price. Can you see it is becoming more straight then let's go again let's go again it's becoming more straight on this let's bring it lower can you see it is becoming more straight so you may ask me what is the sense of this video if you are a trader you know what i'm saying now let's bring it to higher do you see it it's now working on this as is it's now pointing on the resistance zone but when it was lower it was this and i know that 
60% of 30% of traders don't even care about those things. When you immediately watch videos on YouTube and you hear apply to close all those things, you just rush immediately and start adding up everything. Now let's check linear weighted. Can you see this one? Have you seen what is coming up in here? So just watch what is happening here. Just check this line. Just check it and see what I'm saying. So those things are not as simple as you think. But this thing is high now. Let's bring it lower. Can you see? Initially, it was here. Concurrently, it was here. Now check this place. Please pay attention to this. Thing. Now check this place. And see the position of those things. When you have this. When you have this linear weighted on a low key. Then let's apply it to open. When you apply it to open, it's no longer here, it's no longer here, but rather at the center. And the team moved that from here down to this point. Then in all these things, which one is more convenient? Which one is more profiting? Which one should one rely on? I will tell you one simple truth. When you check this word exponential and you close it, like this this is what you have and don't forget that this is this thing you are seeing now is one now let's bring it to one hour time frame let's use this the same thing and do it on one hour time frame then i will show you i will tell you one thing now look at this now look at this check this thing you are seeing now now check some of the rejections we have here now mark this thing like this and I'm coming back. Check here again. Let's use the normal drawing line. Check here. Let's make it to be bold. Check this point. All right, good. Now, check this line too. Let's make it to be bold. Good. Now, when you check these things, now move down a little bit to 15 minutes time frame. When you move down a little bit to 15 minutes time frame, you realize one thing that at this very at this very spot, at this very spot, everything that happened here happened between this line that is planning to consolidate. Look at it. So everything you are seeing here is just consolidating. But nothing just happened anything that happened on forest is either going to a direction or is going on a ranging position so now watch this thing as i'm bringing it out to you clearly this thing you are seeing now is resting at this point remember how he rested here and later gave back to this take note of this so when you have exponential and you apply it to close, it helps you to see, to detect. Remember that moving average is a trending indicator. It helps you to indicate the position of the trend and where it's likely going to move. I repeat, it helps you to see a clear trend, especially where it may be going, the direction it may be going. I mean when you apply it to close now let's let's put something here that may be a little bit confusing let's use linear weighted and high look at this can you see it now so when you have linear weighted and you apply it to high this thing now just lied to us rather it shows us that this thing you are seeing now when it cross at this place it's going to go up but the strength of the indicators that we know shows that each time the market is positioning in that angle that it should be coming down because of this flat line here because we have had this rejection for some people who don't really understand what this thing meant you get that so when you follow it like this, it will be a little bit confusing. But another advantage of it when you carefully follow it is that 
it helps you to see a kind of black clear trend um breaking out but even at that point but when you have something like exponential apply to close you know exponential apply to close something like this something like this have you seen it so it is showing you that something is moving up and with this is showing you that this thing is resting at the bottom meaning that the strength of bias is more higher is pointing to a higher direction than the strength of sellers look at it so once everything is written resting in this position is indicating uptrend so have you seen the advantage of using this very thing in the way it's supposed to be used so don't just see indicators on youtube and somebody will tell you apply to this apply to that you have to apply the common knowledge that you have so that whenever you are doing analysis it will be more clearer to you than ever before you get that now that is one thing you should be doing then when you have these little things at the tip of your fingers then you now start analyzing using your higher time frame applying Bollinger band all these uh, indicators you know so all these indicators you need to be careful when doing those things so remember that when you have anything that you have like there are so many trend indicators you must be careful to know them because as long as forest is consigned there are things you ignore that can frustrate you that thing is one thing i know so like like some of you have adaptive moving average those things are trend indicators some of you have uh, average duration average duration bollinger band double exponential envelope fracture all those things even ichimoku moving average parabolic sign, standard deviation all those things they are all trending indicators so every time you put those things in your chart you are looking forward to see a trend of the market then when you have something like uh, average through range bears and bulls bulls power all these things all of them like like um MACD, momentum, relative strength in the relative vigor in the relative, uh, all those things, they are all oscillators. Have to know this. They are all oscillators. So it doesn't matter the names, they are all oscillators. So you must be careful. Like you now have accumulation, money flow index, or unbalance, and this thing, they are all volumes. You should have this thing at the tip of your finger. So when somebody is dropping something, on YouTube and telling you that you should adopt those things don't forget what you already know about those things so when the person is derailing it you not fall victim of it that is one thing you should get that is one little thing you should have at the tip of your fingers so that you not fall victims of those things so now you not be a victim of ignorance Do you get that so like what we have now like what we have here when you check on those things and check on this place it pushed at this point made the move at this point now everything was at the same position not until this one break out and you can see how massive this thing can be so this thing now came in a deceptive way to prove that it's coming down but never happened until it moved to another direction so this is one of the reasons you should pay attention to your chart not even the most important thing you think you know you should rely on as long as chart is consigned this morning your chart may work using moving average in the afternoon you may not pay attention to your moving average rather you should pay attention to any other thing like average through range whatever you are using just pay attention to it maybe macd you may pay attention to your macd or your momentum don't just rely on that particular thing you have seen that worked for you. That is why when you talk about chart patterns, there are different chart patterns. There are some patterns you will see on Monday that you may never see again throughout that month. So when you see it, when you cited it and it worked for you, please don't rely on it because it may never look at this type of thing here. You see, when you see a breakout like this and you place trade, at this very spot you know don't go about looking for those things again because you may not see it exactly like this this is their own 
pattern you know so now look at this look at how this one happened just look at this one so look at this one here and you see it so sometimes it may never happen the way you wanted it it break out here but was not true came back again came back here again all of these things are just trying to look at let's assume that you entered at this spot now thinking that this is the breaker what happened it never came back again it moved up now you have seen this one coming back again then you entered at this point what happened again some of you that may not be careful to watch this thing will now discover that it started going so when your account is not strong enough you may rush to close down until you now get the balance that you need so pay attention to your chart i'm selling you this because i love you as my subscriber and i love you as someone who believe in gdfs to get stuff that will help you and i promise you that we are not here to deceive you the only problem we are having here is that when we try to be truthful people see us as lazy people see us as stupid people see us as someone who is not serious with whatever he or she doing but most times most times when we lie people not take us serious <clears throat> so one thing you should know is that we are out and i want you to practice this thing it's just a tutorial to encourage you just to clear your eyes off from what you should be doing on exponential so when you are making discoveries to find out which the difference between those things this video is the right thing for you to do and please i want to beg you to subscribe to our channel 85 percent of people who are watching our videos does not subscribe to our channel please i beg you to subscribe and you will not regret to do so my name is gdfx if all these things you are seeing you can get it in details when you join our mentorship class and you get it and um, i don't charge twice go and ask question any agreement you have is the same thing i don't come back and say package one package two if you have paid this one you come back again and pay for another thing no i don't do that gdfs i so much love you thank you so much thank you